Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how to make this cool hydraulic arm. Awesome! It's powered using a simple syringe hydraulic system, and for the lifting device, I'm attaching an electromagnet. So let's begin. For the platform, I'm using this old table coaster. And for the rotating base of the arm, I'm using this tin lid that I used in a previous project. I then drilled a hole through the centre of the lid and pinned it into place using a drawing pin and a perler bead as a spacer. For the actual arm, I used two large lolly sticks and four standard size sticks. I decided to paint them grey to give them a more mechanical look. I then drilled two holes that were one inch apart at the end of the larger sticks. I also cut off the bottom at the other end. For the four standard size sticks, I drilled two holes at one end that were one and a half inches apart and another at the other side. Now for the hydraulics, I used these small one millimeter syringes from Amazon. You'll need six of these altogether. To assemble the first hydraulic, I glued a perler bead to the handle and then glued a plastic cable tie to the top end of the tube. For the second hydraulic, I did the exact same thing but flipped over the cable tie and then glued it to the bottom of the tubing instead of the top. I used five small nails to piece together the first half of the arm like this. I then placed the first hydraulic over the inner nails and the second hydraulic over the outer nails. Then it was time to piece together the other half of the arm. Now it's finally starting to take shape. After that, I used the top end of an aftershave bottle and glued it into place on the rotating base. This should give the arm enough height for the hydraulic tubes to fit behind. I then secured the arm onto the base using hot glue. For the lifting device, I used this nifty little electromagnet I purchased from an electronics store. If you don't have one of these, you can always coil some wire around a metal screw for a makeshift electromagnet. I threaded the wires through the holes at the end of the arm and then took them towards the back. To rotate the arm, I glued yet another wire tidy to the edge of the tin lid and then prepared the third hydraulic. I used another perler bead and a nail to hold it in place. I then coupled the hydraulic to the wire tidy using another nail. To connect the hydraulics, I used three lengths of three millimeter tubing. I then filled up the tubing with water and connected the arm to the controller syringes. I also wired the electromagnet up to a battery and then added this small switch. Then all that was needed was to add elastic bands here and here to allow a more fluent movement of the arm. Right, let's give her a go. Pretty darn epic. Hmm. 
It takes a while to master the controls, but I have to say, it's great fun. So there we have it, how to make a hydraulic arm. I'll see you next time.